Hey, it's Vincent Wong here. I'm just having a little walk, but while I'm gathering my thoughts with the fresh air and the beautiful countryside, I just want to give you a quick tip on how to buy your first property while you're struggling with saving for a deposit. I think that's what most people are struggling with. So the first thing I'll say to that is you're never going to save enough money. Just think about how much money you're putting aside every single month. And in a year, what would that be equivalent to? And by the time you think you've saved enough, what do you think is going to happen to the property price? Um, it's probably going to have gone up quite substantially. So how do you circumvent this? Well, my advice to you is to learn how to raise money. So what I mean by that is you need to learn how to give a good business proposition to someone it could be a bank i mean in this case you pay them good interest and uh, they're earning and uh, you, they give you a loan which is what they're in business for and you can do the same with uh, ordinary people people around you these are people who've got savings in the bank and they don't they don't know what to do with the money uh, because putting money in the bank is not earning them anything at all and so if you can actually give them a much higher return they will really welcome the opportunity so what i mean is investors are actually made they're created so you have to give them the opportunity the second thing is w while you can raise finance it's also important to have an exit strategy and what that means is that you have to find a way to give the money back now if you're buying a property and you're paying full market price for it then you won't be able to see this investment back for many years to come. You have to wait for the property to go up in value in the future and then you can refinance. And that would take many years. So in the meantime, it, it, you will be restricted to how many properties you can buy. So one way to get around it is to buy a property at below the market value. And so people ask, how do you buy properties at below the market value? Well, one thing we know is that you can increase the value of the property through renovation. So if you look for a property that has good development potential, then you can potentially increase its value and by, by doing some work and then refinance and get your money back and then you pay back your investors. And thirdly, um, there, there are in fact other ways for you to acquire property without using any money, using any mortgage finance and saving for a deposit. Now, I know it sounds too good to be true and it sounds counterintuitive. How do you buy things without using money? Well, it's the concept of control. It is absolutely possible to control assets without using money and it's all through negotiation. Now, negotiation is a very big, long subject which I'm not going to go into in detail, but let's say negotiation is about the terms. If you can find a common terms that can help a homeowner move on with their lives and solve their problems, it is possible for you to make money from the deal without you having to buy anything. So it becomes a win-win deal. It is something that uh, unless you understand the context behind it, it is always going to be extraordinarily ridiculous. Um, it's not possible. So these are the things that I want to talk about, but to begin with, learn how to raise finance and find better deals and learn how to recycle your money. And that's a better way to start than to save forever, which will not work. So hope you find that useful and uh, enjoy your day as well. Bye for now.